Hello everybody, Roka Ranta here. Just want to talk to you about Stuart Donald. More importantly, Donald out. I'm in fucking hell. Donald out. I'm telling you now, right, if you've liked some sort of Facebook page or wrote an essay to the Sunland Echo or, or put a fucking sign up at your window, whatever it is you fucking campaigners do, situating Donald out. I tell you what you need to do, right? You need to get yourself to Park Lane, get on the Fab 56, and make sure you didn't fucking get off until it terminates, because you deserve to be out of the fucking water with them fucking Geordie cretins. When he took over, right? I mean, I've heard phrases like, oh, he's only in it for a quick pound. A quick pound? A quick, he's been in, he's owned the fucking club for nearly two years. Surely he could have made a quick pound by now. I mean, there's fucking more, but you could sell his arsehole if you wanted to make a quick pound. Not go and fucking buy a fucking football club. Fucking hell, man. I went, wake up and smell the fucking bacon studies, will you? For fuck's sake. Donald out. I've never heard so much fucking rubbish in army life. When he took over the club, right, we'd just been relegated to League One with a turnover of minus £36 million. Pound. I mean, how on earth would anybody look at that and think, Oh, I'll, I'll go in there and make a quick pound. It only takes a month or two to make a quick pound on that club. I'll go in and do that. You fucking absolute bellends. That's all I can say. Be- you aren't magums. You're just be- you're just fickle as fuck. That's all these fucking idiots are. Fickle as fuck. Like them fucking Geordie bastards. Fickle as fuck. Don't know a good owner when the fucking see what. Well, it's, it's not even about being a good owner. It's just being a decent person. And that's all he is, he's just a decent bloke. Comes in and fucking tries to turn the club around. I things haven't worked out, of course haven't. We want to be fucking promoted and things like that. But he's trying his fucking best. He inherited a club that was fucking at a net turnover of minus 36 million pound and he's fucking broken even. What more do you fucking want? Do you not want to have a club? And I want, if, like, if you want to fucking go and spend fucking millions and millions and mi- blow all the club's money and get yourself fucking back in 36 million pound, I class will get all these Yanks and fucking Americans out, oh, hey, get all these billionaires out to come out and fucking spunk all the club's money away. Ah, oh, that sounds like a good idea. And then when it all hands tits up, boom, Neymar Club. And then we can just twist on about having Neymar Club. But at least we've had a good fucking 12 months where we've fucking spent millions and millions of pounds and we've fucking walked the league for a fucking year. And then a couple of years down the line, it's gone fuck. Fuck off, we've already been in that situation. Can you not remember what it was like? You had fucking Martin Bain coming in and spending 100 fucking grand's worth of fucking money on something to fucking help his back. Well, what the fucking hell? I mean, it's just fucking baffling. I kind of get my head around these fucking idiots. Absolute fucking cretins. That's all they are. Fucking cre- Like Mickey Gray. Oh, fucking hell, man. Mickey fucking Gray. Thinks he's the fucking number one fucking Sunland fan because he missed a fucking penalty in a playoff fucking six million years ago that they fuck even cares about anymore. We've been to Wembley a fucking dozen times since then, you fucking daft cunt. Who gives a fuck about your penalty? came out and he reckons that he's fucking two years ago he came in with a consortium that wasn't even fucking looked at. I made it because you haven't got a fucking clue how to run a fucking football club. That's why it wasn't fucking looked at you daft cunt. Because fuck all the day we're being a fucking number. And if I had fucking millions of pounds, well I want to go and buy something. No, because I haven't got a fucking clue how to run a football club. I was born and bred in Sun and I've been a fucking Mac for fucking longer than what you have. Does it fucking, if I fucking had the money, would I go and buy son and nah? Because I haven't got a fucking clue, mate, how to run a football club. And neither do you, so shut the fuck up. Twisting on. Oh, son, until I die, I've done an hour and a half interview and they didn't fucking show it. Who, who wants to listen to fucking you talk about the missed penalty? Oh, I cried because I missed a penalty. Of course you fucking did because you were spacking and you fucking can't attack a penalty. You're a fucking left back. Who, other than Roberto Carlos, who gives a fuck about the left back, eh? Who gives a flying fuck about their left back? Absolutely fucking nobody. So why should the population of Sunderland care about fucking Michael Gray? Exactly. We don't. We couldn't give a flying fuck. The only good thing about you possibly tacking our old club would be that we'll get Kevin Phillips as manager. That's the only good thing. Apart from that, I mean, even that mightn't work because fucking hell, he's super Kevin and all that, but he's not a miracle worker. He's never been a manager before. And with a fucking muppet like you running the club above him, he's fucking, he's got no fucking chance he'll never manage again after he's fucking worked under you, you fucking greasy head, fucking left back fuck. Fucking gets my fucking blood boiling. Fucking idiots. Fucking haven't got a fucking clue. 
run a fucking football club. And then you see these fucking taxi drivers. Oh, I've been a fan. I'm a fucking number one Sunderland fan. Been fucking gone since 19 fucking 12 before the fucking Titanic was built. No fucking kids, just because you've fucking got fucking 600 years on the fucking rest of us, doesn't matter you're fucking more of a fan than fucking the rest of the fucking Mac and population. Your input means absolutely diddly fucking squit. So shut the fuck up. Nobody cares that you've fucking been a fucking Sunderland fan for fucking 900 years or however fucking old you are. You're just a fucking Muppet like Mickey Gray. That's how you are. A fucking Muppet like Mickey Gray. Who's ne Mickey Gray's never had a fucking season ticket. Has he fuck? Talks about being a number one fan. Does he get the matches now? No, does he? He buy when fucking Sky pays him to gun fucking to the matches he'll gun. But he doesn't fucking fork out of his own fucking pocket to gun watch the fuckers, does he? No, he'll sit there on Twitter being a fuck. Oh. I'm fucking number one Sunderland fan. I give 13 years of my life to the club. Uh, I should be fucking this, I should be that. I should be... Ah, uh, oh, fucking hell, mate. Fuck off. Concentrate on fucking... day in the gym or whatever fucking other shit you fucking digging, you fucking faggot. You look like a puff and all, you fucking left back fucking looking good. Fucking idiot. Anyway, over and out. I'm at Tesco's. Goodbye.